Hey what's up, this is Anthony with AGT Exotics and today we're going to be shipping out my Heterothelli Villacella Mature Male for a breeding loan. Uh, we're going to ship it to a gentleman over in Indiana and um, hopefully we'll get some footage of uh, the breeding project and get some eggs. Yay! Alright so uh, this is my first time ever shipping a critter. So I'm kind of just uh, repeating what I've unboxed myself and um, uh, hopefully it goes smooth and um, it uh, all works out for the best. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so this is my Heterothelli Villasella mature male. I got him a date on Spinder. So we're gonna go send him to a person and we're gonna do a 50-50 uh, breeding loan. And uh, so this is my first attempt ever shipping anything and also trying to put something in one of these little shipping containers. Those little uh, shipping tubes. So this should be an interesting, fun adventure in itself. All right, so I've never done this before, even looked up how people do it, but I'm gonna do my best to get it into this tube. I may use this or this to direct it in there. Um, so let's just, let's just wing it and see how it goes. So where are you at, little guy? This should be a, uh, fairly easy getting him out, seeing that he has like a big web castle, but it's, uh, it doesn't go in the inside of it. It just kind of goes around the rim. So hopefully this will make it a bit easier. Getting it out of here. They're pretty darn quick, this species. Get him to come up here. Working his way around the rim. Maybe I can get it to walk off into its enclosure while I remove its castle. Okay, maybe that will be a good start. All right. There he is. He's in the tube. That went pretty good. All right, and let's try to get him to go into the hole. I'm not sure how we're gonna do that, but we're gonna give it a try. Being really gentle with him. I don't wanna stress him out too much and I don't wanna damage him. <laughs> Move all this stuff out of the way so I can get the proper angle. So you can see what I'm doing here. So I'm just going to use this and try to get him to come back this way. I know, little guy. I'm sorry. If you turn around, you can see that there's a hole. They're just so darn fast. There we go. Let's try to put him back this way now. Come on. There we go. There's a tube hole there. Check it out. Yeah, go into the hole. Yeah, you can do it. It's nice in there. Oh shoot, we got it. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna plug it now. Got him in there. That plug's a little too big. All right, let's put the cap on it. And that went extremely smooth. I hope the rest of mine that I ever do are this smooth. <laughs> so that's a Heterothelli Villasella mature male. It's gonna go out for a breeding loan and uh, 
we'll uh, follow up um, on its progress. Uh, maybe we'll see a breeding video, hopefully. I'm going to try to see if I can get the guy to do that. And, um, and uh, we should have some babies here in the next four or five months. All right, thanks guys for uh, checking out my first shipping situation. We might as well do the boxing part as well, right? All right, so here's the box I set up. We got a section to separate the heat pad from the rest of it. So what we're gonna do is open up our 72 hour, one of these Uni heat, Uni heat, there we go. Multi-purpose jumbo shipping war warmer, 72 hours. Just in case, during these uh, winter or early spring months, uh, a lot of weather is, you know, in play and can cause delays in shipping. So we're gonna make sure that we have plenty of. I need some scissors. Make sure we have plenty of room for air. Pad. Now I'm just going to position it in this area that I have taped separate, like that. Now what we're going to do is tape the, just a small piece of tape, tape the container against the other wall so that I'm reusing a container here, so it's just praying right to someone, but that's okay. We're gonna tape this to the other side of the wall so this can never contact the container because they do get up to 100 degrees and we don't want that to happen. And then we're gonna pack the empty open space here with packing peanuts. make sure that there's no shifting of any of the items and this can never touch that and then we're gonna set this on top here to kind of hold everything in place and also keep the warmth in there like that and then we're pretty much done we just need to seal up the package put the names on it and stuff and uh, send it out all right so We'll see you with some more footage of what happens next.
All right, that went very well. I got the shipping done just fine, and we also got some breeding footage. Very happy with that. Uh, really, really happy with that, that he was able to film some for me and send it to me and I was able to use it. It's pretty good quality too, I'm very impressed. All right, so another thing, I shaved my head, I no longer have dreads. So that's a big change probably for my viewers. So thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And remember, I have videos up every Tuesday. And uh, there's the subscribe button. There's a video recommended for you. And there's an AGT Exotics playlist. All right, I'll see you guys next time.